a lot of people ask me how I do the head for the blood pressure because it's supposed to be very sharp, very angled. Um, that's why the techniques are techniques. It's not so complicated. What I use, it's a curve scissors. I really like the black pearl. They're kind of my favorite. It's a butter cut. And because of the curve, I can do the neck much better than I can do it with a straight hair. The movement when you do this is just you cutting hair this way, like this. This is how you open up all the beautiful, massive neck, which makes Black Russian very powerful looking. And uh, you're clearing this as much as you can, very short, because if you're gonna have long hair, it's not gonna look cute, it will be like a labradoodle. That's why the Black Russian is supposed to be with a short hair, and that angle possible to do with the curves, it's not easy to do with the straight. This is how you're making up. On the position from the back, what you do, you also make a straight line, straight line with the ear. And here, you also do the little bit this way curve because when you're gonna show them, you're gonna use your show leash, show color, and uh, you can push it. You actually will push it because you're handling the dog. And this is how it's gonna look at the time of showing him. Because if you're gonna make it straight line and you're gonna show, then you're gonna just lose the point and the angle and line will go unfortunately to the wrong direction. That's why, as usual, on the back black Russians, we do have the air will be clipped with number 10, bleed number 10. Right now, we're just working on his neck. Going through right now, one more time, with uh, this kind of uh, comb. I love that. This is comb actually, this is the brand. There we go, Madden. I bought this at uh, one of the shows and uh, it's the comb for poodles. But it's so comfortable when you're going through the coat and it's very comfortable handle. And I can go through the coat step by step to check that I have no mudding nowhere. Just to make sure it's ready for grooming. There we go, going one by one, because as better and more often you're gonna comb your dog, actually Black Russian, not just in other dogs, uh, the better coat you're gonna have, and of course it's gonna be a gorgeous looking dog, because it's the same as our hair, if we do treatments, if we wash properly, if we're conditioning properly in the winter time, if we moisturize in the summertime, the same because it's actually hair. That's why you have to go through the same procedure. I love it. It's just a kind of meditation. When you're exhausted and tired of the work, you're just taking the comb and listen just some YouTube historical lecture or whatever you're watching. It actually right now I'm watching it there in Madrid, the World Dog Show, which I love it. And just go step by step. On the entire single hair. Just want to make sure that we don't have anything underneath because you see just a little bit of something still there. This is the back legs. As you can see here, soft, no mudding in sight. The same technique with the hair dryer. Everything went smooth and we've got a lot of undercoats. We have summer now, and you can see that after his shower, he was running a little bit there. That's where we right now took those bruises out it, and also everything 
is out no notes here as you can see we have some kind of there we go this is what we're gonna work right now with the hair dryer the same here and I can feel it that we have something here a little bit with the hair dryer Just clear it out that one as well no mudding soft hair by hair there we go clean no undercoat everything is separated this look is ready to be groomed this is how different it look when you use dryer when you didn't to make it perfect grooming you have to have your dryer just to help you out to groom better with less notes, shiny coats, and it goes smooth like this. Or if you see here, the dog was just washed and it's not ready for grooming yet. You can feel it, you can hear that it's still some small here underneath that's why it has to be done always when you're preparing the black lotion for grooming the most important is to wash the dog uh, twice you have to use either shampoo for the black dogs which is gonna make very shiny coat uh, I wouldn't recommend condition for the summertime only for the winter in the summertime you just use only the shampoo no condition as it's gonna get a little bit oily skin uh the coat and you don't need that for the summertime um and the way you done is to wash it twice not once twice it means that the first time you're washing out then you just rinse it and then again wash it out rinse it um after that with the blower, you just take the extra water out, about 75%. The blower I use for black Russian terrier, it's Christian Christensen, and it's too extreme, cool dry. It has very convenient varieties because you can make extremely low or extremely high and then you will be able to control when you do the hair dryer for the hair on the head or it's a body that's why you're making less when you do the beard and hair on the head and when you go into the body you can put on a full height to make it faster i love this blower i have a lot of them actually different models this is my favorite and i use this in a facility which we built for the black russian specifically it's kind of shower for the dogs we have all those stations and different conditioning and shampoo or varieties it's a million different things maybe one day i will just go through all of them and just show what we use but i would recommend you to do for if you're planning to buy, get the black russian it's a good idea to make it special place where you're gonna do shower your dogs to avoid all the mess which you can have in your own personal shower and then it's just so difficult to handle it and this is how it looks like because a lot of people asking me to show what is that and how is that it's just my laundry room and we put additionally this station just to have a convenience to wash them and have the towels here and the stations and it's easy and over there we have the hair catcher right there because we have to also catch the hair from them and uh, just to dispose to the garbage when it's done then it's the next stage which is very important 
we're using the just a regular hair dryer just a very simple one and for the first couple movements you use the worm always use the slicker for that because this also takes some extra undercoat which is not much as usually in the summertime but it's still there and additionally you just straighten up the hair with this plus you're working on the if by any chances it's somewhere you have somewhere mudding um, most of the cases in the summer, you're not going to have much mudding. It's usually the springtime for the puppy time when they uh, switch to adult type or for some folks who has double coat. When it's done, you always finish the same point with the cold air, uh, which is usually you have somewhere here, the button. You have to go through every single spot even if it's a huge dog maybe you're not going to be able to do it once uh, maybe take you know 40 minutes then give a break for yourself and for your dog and then get back to it but you have to go through entire coat slow by slow warm air cold air warm air cold air this is how you're gonna get all the hair ready for grooming you want to go home? Ready? Ready? You ready too? Okay, let's go. Let's go. This is how shiny this is supposed to be. If you see some kind of like a muddy or something, it means it's a good time to start your grooming and washing your dog. This is how the puppy falls.